Hi again, everyone. Chris Tisdale here again. Thanks for tuning in. In this presentation, I'm going to do an example of how to integrate a power of cosine. Now, these kinds of examples are seen in a, in a regular Calculus 2 course. So we'll talk about the method and the strategy. Uh, and um, uh, let me share my screen with you and we can start. All right, here is the example we're going to look at. We've defined i to be this integral. We have got a power of cosine and we want to integrate it with respect to theta. All right, so it's a power. What I'm going to do is make a strategic choice here in breaking it up into a, a special product. So let, let me show you how that works. So I'm going to take one of the powers out into the right-hand side. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do with the remaining part, and you'll see we ha now have an even, an even power. I'm going to change this square bracketed part to something involving a power of sine, sine. Well, how can I do that? Well, I can use cos squared plus sine squared equals one. And more importantly, why would I want to do that? Well, we'll see why we want to do that at the end when it, it, it'll work out really nicely and I'll give you a, a, general, a general idea of what's going on. Okay, so I know that sine squared plus cos squared equals one. So, this is cos squared all squared. So I can write it like this. So that's cos squared, but it's cos squared squared here. So I have to put a squared up there. Okay, so this is now my new sort of square bracket. If I expand this squared symbol now, I'll get one minus two sine squared uh, plus sine to the power four. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna sort of have three parts to my integral. Okay. Okay, so where am I now? Well, oh, don't, don't let me forget that theta over there. Okay, now let's break this out into three parts. And you might think, well, Chris, hang on, this is getting more complicated. I wanted this to be simple. Well, it will become simple. So just, just trust me for a minute. It's cosine. See if I can squeeze that D theta in there. Yep, just got it in. Okay, so what have we got now? We've kind of got three parts to our integral. Let's, let's look at them carefully. We've got this part. Okay, we know how to integrate cosine. That's not a big deal. And then I've got this part here, which is a power of sine times cosine. And then I've got another one here where this is a power of sine times a regular cosine. Now, these two things can be integrated using a, a, a general um, identity. You'll get the following. Firstly, we know how to, how to integrate cosine. It'll give us sine, right? So let's do that. Easy. Now, for this one, the integral of this, basically, you increase the power of sine by one and you divide by the new power. Okay, so this will be one third sine cubed, not forgetting the minus two. Yeah, same sort of principle over here. This will increase by one and you divide by the new power. And plus some constant of integration. So this is your result okay 
this is your result. But why does it work? What, how can I go from here to here and from here to here? Well, that's easy. It comes from the integral, let's say k is a power, This is, this is an identity. Now, you might think, well, okay, I'm still not impressed, Chris. Where, where does that come from? Well, you can prove the bottom identity just by um, substitution. You would let, so, so to get this from this, you would let u equals sine theta, substitute in, you'll get um, the integral of u to the k times du. You integrate that and back substitute and you'll get, get this, okay? So to get this, you just let u equal sine theta. Okay, I won't do all the details there. I'll let you put in the details, okay? So let's just rerun the argument again. We've got an odd power of cosine. We pull out one of the cosines to make the rest even. We use cos squared plus sine squared equals one to get this in terms of powers of sine now in this orangey bracket. Once I have that, I've got three bits. I can integrate each of those directly using this relationship here in here and here. Okay. Okay, what do you think? Are you watching on a mobile device? The font is quite massive. So I'm trying to get better at doing mobile presentations now, get more visibility on mobiles. If you have any questions, any comments, I'd love to hear them. Put them in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.